there's cows and lambs. It smells ripe. <laughs> I love that smell. I do too. <laughs> Episode four of the Teen Tom Transformations in Somerset. Sunny Somerset. It's a beautiful day. It's February, but it feels like June. Um, what was it about her video that made you think, oh, I want to go there, apart from the fact it's well, in beautiful Somerset? It's in Somerset and it was on a farm, and we have a lot of farmers, families, farmer families in the Teen Tom Facebook group. So I thought it would be really good to go and visit and then because I've never lived on a farm. It's a, a proper, like, a working house. It's a, yeah, it is a working house. So it'd be really good to see how the organised one method can help this type of lifestyle. Plus, it's a gorgeous house. <laughs> Look at that. Um, let's just wait for the... There we go. Look at that view. It's stunning. It's surrounded by the most amazing views. <laughs> I was mid-dance. Okay, so what prompted you to send your video in when Gemma was requesting people to apply? Because I can never get on top of everything, there's just not enough hours in the day. The so working farm. Yeah. So, what does your daily, normal day, what time does it start? So I usually get up about seven and then I'm not my future friend. So I've got to make sandwiches and then um, to, then I end up leaving at 8 o'clock to take the first two to school. Yeah. And then come back and then get my six-year-old ready, get her to school. Then I come back with my three-year-old and then we'll um, feed the chickens, feed the lambs. And then come back in and then start on whatever needs doing. So, how, so it's all very <laughs> centred. So you're not only keep doing most of the housework, would you say you're the person that did most of the housework. Do your kids help? No. What, sorry, I've got, I've got loads of questions. <laughs> Can you just run down the ages of your kids? So 16 is the so oldest one? So she'll be 16 this year, so yeah, I've got a 15 year old, a 16 this year, a 13 year old, a six year old, and a three year old. Are they all girls? No, nope, I've got one boy, 13 year old boy. 13 year old's a boy. So, um, and you're in charge of feeding the hens and the lambs in the morning? Yeah. This is your only living space. This whole area here yeah. is like a, your kitchen. It's, it's massive. Kitchen, dining room, living all room. room, all in one. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay, worry. are you scared of spiders? Why? 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 On, on you. Ah! <laughs> I vaulted the Dyson and that was impressive. And I'm sorry I didn't help you. Sorry I didn't help you. <laughs> I love the fact that you vaulted the Dyson. Most Always time, thinking about the uh, you lead. <laughs> right, it's my pile of washing. Right, so you've got lots of tins of paint around. Are you yeah. painting? Um, I painted two walls through half term. Right, okay. We had a bedroom swap around. Your room? Yeah, I hate my bedroom. I absolutely oh, why? Hate it. It's just, oh, I don't like the wardrobes. We moved in and like, it's just boxes everywhere. I couldn't get to any of my clothes. We just needed some wardrobes quick, and we just went and they had them in stock, and we're like, fine. But I'll just, I think, I just hate the yellowness of them. You can paint them. Yeah, that's it. Well, there is some um, time though, isn't it? Cause my brother got married back in September, so it's been hung there since. But I didn't wear this. I was going to wear it, and then I didn't wear it. Beautiful dress. Yeah. But it's been there since September. Yeah. <laughs> back down a little bit of declutter. Right. I didn't know where to put anything, so I just sort of shoved it all in. You just shoved it all in the bath yeah. room. That's what I'm like. What are they Christmas presents? Because I didn't like Christmas this year. It was oh. all too stressful. And so I thought, you know, they say spread the cross of Christmas. And I thought if you buy a little bit each month yeah. and wrap it. Yeah, so that's what you get for next Christmas. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Well, but it's not though, is it? Because now I've got to keep it in my shower. Oh, I think that's well, what No, I'm just like, <laughs> is she out, Gemma? I think she might be out, Gemma. <laughs> We're going to have to cancel this whilst Gemma goes to the shops. <laughs> I can't be outdone. <laughs> she must go and do Christmas. Right, so so something that we've asked everyone so far is what sort of house would you want to live in? Do you want to live in like a minimalist Your house? house? My house? <laughs> yeah, we'll do a swap. I was quite happy. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah. house. We'll do a swap. <laughs> so, like, would you want to be minimalist or would you like being homely? Yeah, homely. That's not minimalist. Like, just homely, but like, just... I just want a place, for, like a home for everything. So everything, anything that hasn't got a place just needs to go. Do you feel like there is a lot of stuff that can go? Yeah, I do. Well, there's not a lot of storage in the house. 
is there. The amount of people living in the house, there's no, uh, no, no near enough no. storage. So what so might... build some more walls? Yeah. <laughs> build it out. <laughs> yeah. So what I would concentrate on, so the storage that you currently have, you have got downstairs, yeah. you've got this cupboard yeah. here, and you've got your the under the stairs there. cupboard. I, I think you really need to reassess whether everything you've got in those cupboards yeah. deserves to be in those cupboards. But also... because it's really hard to operate a phone with a pair of rubber gloves on. Plus, if you find yourself just staring in space <laughs> away with the fairy slightly yeah. and look down, you're like, whoa, yes, I'm meant to be clean. So, top tip is to put a pair of rubber gloves on. rid of this clutter but you and it and it not just like in a one-off way in a workable way so that you can actually look after and keep it in that place and everything has a home yeah. then you'll be able to keep on top of it within the 30 minutes and what as, as a non Gemma person who does Tom well what you'll find is the first week that you do it you'll do the living room you set your timer right. for half an hour <laughs> and you go through the list and you might not get everything done. No, you won't, you probably won't. But then by the fourth week you're doing it, you'll get everything done. No, right, so it is it just... Right. 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 It's yeah. usually about week three or four, most people say that's when it clicks. Mm -hmm. So like the first week, they'll be like, oh my God, the time has run out and I've not finished all the jobs. So you just start with the most urgent job, do those, work your way down the list and then next week pick up and it will get faster and then... and she used to love a bargain, right? So much so that she couldn't shut her wardrobe. She had to like oh, yeah. tie them together with string. And like, but you'd say to her, Nana, why have you got these size six shoes? They don't fit you. They were a bargain. <laughs> but you're yeah, doing I'm someone hearing, else. I'm hearing a lot of that. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So you have to really be really strict with yourself. And I think, I think going through this process and you'll go, it's taken me bloody ages to clear everything out of this house. That will naturally make you think twice about bringing more and stuff more in. Stuff in yeah. Okay, so what we've done is we've got charity bin we've basically cleared everything that you can see here so a lot a lot of stuff has come out of this cupboard so we've put the ironing board the current hoover and then we've got kids toys so we've sorted all that so, out that's because just so what does it so the thing is you set everyone a week's worth of homework yeah and you wouldn't be able to do that without seeing her house no and i think what was really interesting here is that i've got a similar it's a good size house mm -hmm. i've got a good size house mm -hmm. but there is no storage no there's no storage and there's like a window in every do you know what i mean it's one of those houses where yeah. there's a window in every on, wall on which is wall. lovely for the views yeah but you can't put a cupboard you can't put it did turn out was that in the open plan bit downstairs she did have two very useful deep cupboards yeah so yeah. the one under the stairs, because the stairs were those amazing curved, curved stairs, yeah. that went actually quite far back. Mm -hmm. And then she had pantry cupboards, but because she's got such good storage in her kitchen, the kitchen was very well designed. Yeah. Well, the whole house is beautiful. It's it's, it's a new house. As well, by her own admission, she, she, she buys a lot of unnecessary stuff. Oh, the sister bargain. That's the problem. 
Hello, Gemma. Um, I just want to say a massive thank you to you and Chippy for everything you came and done here. Um, there was no way I would have got all that done by myself. So thank you very much. And I'm ready to um, pick up from where you left off. You've given me the motivation to think I actually could have a tidy house. Um, I've printed off the level one jobs and the week one. So I'm going to start with the level one jobs, get them done, and then I'm going to crack on with finishing off the cupboard that you and Chippy started. So here we go. Okay, so I have the cyborg looking a lot better. I've um, even bought some flowers to make it look pretty, which I never really bother doing because usually it just sort of gets plonked in between all the clutter. And now inside there's actually usable space. I've put all the kids' paper and pens in there and everything's looking a lot more organised. So another day, another room. Um, this room has got worse since Gemma and Chippy was here. So whilst she's out at school, I'm going to um, see what I can do with her bedroom. I've got one bag of um, rubbish and one bag of for the charity shop and then I'm still trying to plough through everything else that we want to keep. I've got a feeling it's going to get a lot worse before it gets any better. I'm slowly getting through stuff but I've got a big bag of rubbish and a big heavy bag of charity shop stuff and it is almost time to do the school run but just quickly because she will never let any of them go. I really want to do all the stuffed toys. Um, so any I think she'll want to keep, I'll, um, I won't, but any I think she won't mind going, I think I'll just put them out in the garage and then if she does think of any, then they can always come back in. Lisa's one benefit of having a bowl, can you like this? Down the stairs. Ah, uh, Emmy, what's your little lamb called? Rosie and Ben. Rosie and Ben. Ah, oh, do you like feeding your lambs? Yeah. What's best, feeding lambs or... What's... Feeding the lambs. Feeding the lambs is better, is it? Yeah. Aw. Oh, I think I agree with you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> kids are in bed but the fun doesn't stop there because I'm now I'm going to try and reorganize the DVDs and try and have a free shelf so that I've got some more space downstairs that I can use because none of these DVDs ever get watched so I think it's time to say goodbye to some and da da that literally took five minutes and I've got an empty shelf and another bag for the charity shop. So we've had a very exciting delivery this morning and I've just come back downstairs and these two have managed to open it. How did you manage that? So, um, I took off all the tape. And the box makes a very good train. So I just did my 30 minutes in the front room, pulled all the sofa out, hoovered all down inside the 
cushions and everything feels a lot more fresh and all tidied away there's still this corner which I really don't like I need to find a different place to keep the printer but I thought I could do that on the Friday focus and then hopefully it will stay like this for a little while and so here we go from when Gemma was here Immy's in her shop dressed as Pocahontas and um, from when Gemma and Chippy were here last week the house looks completely different managed to get rid of a lot of stuff and you can actually see worktop space and no more rubbish everywhere Oh my goodness! <laughs> it looks amazing. It looks like a new. It looks like a show house. It really does. Well, not quite. <laughs> not quite. It's amazing. How's it your cupboards? Like that pie was all gone. Look, I've actually got a corner. <gasps> it's all cleared away, and yeah. everything has a place. All you've got to do is put things back where they belong because it's actually somewhere they belong now. And yeah. then you can just crack on and finish off and actually clean. And that's what I said before, I felt I'd have to clean the house top to bottom to be on top of it, whereas now, I'm just doing an area each day. Yeah. You know you're on top of, you know you're on top of it without sort of having a massive challenge. And, and, and your home, I mean, you've got such a beautiful home, you've got such beautiful furniture, and that like, couch, that sofa behind you, so pretty. And you can see everything now, you can see your table. Do you feel clearer in your head? Do you feel... <laughs> And are you going to be stricter with yourself about what you bring in? Yeah, 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 definitely. Because that's it. Like, now there's a place for everything. So if you want to bring something new in, almost something's got to go. Because otherwise you'll be back to the situation. Yeah. For everything that you bring in, one thing needs to leave. It's been a massive learning curve for me, but I think I've learned it quite quickly. Just, just get rid of it. That's it. You don't really... And even with the children's toys, what's left in there now, they can actually play with a lot better before where there's so much they can't even really see it. It's better than having a cupboard full of stuff that they just want to keep because they don't want to throw it out and the, but they can't play with it so they don't know what's in there. And it's all yeah. just being keeping broken stuff and yeah. So and now as well you know where everything is you know that you've got four buckets. You don't need to buy another bucket. And you know that you've got like you know how much you've got of each thing. So it's it's easier. It's almost like keeping a you know what stock you have in your home, so you don't need to yeah. be buying additional stuff. So that's good. So, okay. um, yeah. Thanks so much. You've done amazing. Such an amazing job. Really appreciate you trekking across the country to come here. It was beautiful. <laughs> we had a, we had an amazing day. So I'm gonna go. And finish, and we don't get out much. We got to see other. cows. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna go and edit it now. And yeah, thank you ever so much. It's been a that's pleasure. Right. Thank you. I really want my hoodie as well. Oh, oh no, I keep forgetting to post it. I, I, I do have it, I just keep forgetting to post it because I've got... Gemma Gray, get more organised. I know. <laughs> I'll, let you know I'll let you both go and enjoy your day. Chippy's like um, a high flyer in London somewhere. I don't know what she's doing. I'm in like... Where are you? In a coffee shop? I'm in a super trendy cafe. Power nice. meeting. Power meeting. Uh, I'm here in my yeah. <laughs> All right, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Right, okay, thank you. Bye. Thank you so much again. Bye. 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 The 30 minutes in the front room. What did I say? You said it was easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now it's... <laughs> Delirium has set in. <laughs> Is it going to be like your lamb? Because that was when did I do that? in the car. I will never forget it. Ready? Yeah. Edit this bit out. It was all right. <laughs> anyway, I mean, I didn't think it. I didn't think a cow had wandered in. So.